and it sucks that Star Wars sucks now. Hot take, Star Wars isn't good anymore. Book of Boba Fett, I'd rather shit in my hands and clap. Uh, and then we found ourselves in another war, thousands of years ago in a galaxy far, far away. Hey, welcome to the game that uh, made this channel, technically. Uh, oh, dude, yeah. Yeah, I was playing it on PC and I was downloading modded maps. It's just gonna be L. I don't care anymore. I was gonna make a joke, but I don't care anymore. Come on. Should I polish this? No. We can do this. Three hours later. There we go. Ball. We made it. Oh, this this Coruscant map sucks. What? I never liked this one. What's your favorite map? I think I like Geonosis. That was pretty cool. He's like big open <laughs> loser. <laughs> Obviously, the Republic. Yeah, we gotta go Republic. All right, way. we made it, boys. He's already firing his fucking rocket. Trying to. I knew this new trooper. Was it worth it? A command post is now under hostile control. Hostiles have gained a command post. Just like my stimulation. Yeah, I'm trying to get get uh get it acquainted with the uh, controls here. Here we go. Here we go. Got him. Let's go. Let's actually go right Let's now. actually head out? Let's actually hit the road? Let's actually leave this place? Let's actually clock out and go home? I'll be this guy for now. Old school. Old school. Dude, this Blaster makes me think ride. of the fucking the Clone Wars cartoon show. Yeah. Uh, not the Clone Wars on Disney+. Plus. Corey has been trying to convince me to re-download Battlefront 2, the new one, mm -hmm. or the newest one, because mm -hmm. him and Clint were playing the fuck out of that game for a long time. I played with them like one or two matches, and I was like, okay, this is actually pretty fun playing with people. Yeah. But I think I might actually end up doing that again. Although I, I say that just because I'm playing this, but then after I leave today, I'm probably just going to be like, mm, it's not the same. <laughs> I thought about getting it, but... If it's still a $60 game, I don't think I can justify fucking doing that. Well, it's EA, so you know it's going to be fucking still expensive. That came out in what? 2019? 2017. That came out in two, it, That can't be right. The second one came out in 2017? Yep. Switch to Mace Windu. Yes, ma'am. I will take Mace Windu. Mace Windu, reporting for duty. That is not the right voice. Roll. Also, why would Mace Windu say reporting for duty? Motherfucker. It's $40. Okay, well, that's not bad. But there's people, you can buy it on Amazon or eBay from $5 to 20 bucks. What the fuck? Putting work on these hoes, man. See what it is on the PlayStation store. Single-handedly taking this. That's a command post. $20 on the PlayStation Store. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. We just downloaded uh, Chivalry, so I don't know if I'd immediately want to switch to another game. Or we could. I don't know. If you want to, I'm, I'm down to play it. All right. I eat shit as Mace Windu. Wes, what's your thoughts on a Mace Windu solo, uh, solo show? It'd be cool if they had a young Mace Windu. Mm -hmm. Because I think Samuel L. Jackson's probably getting too old to do... He said that he'd, he'd do it. I'm sure he's down to do it. The fuck? I just don't, don't shoot know. me. I don't know if the I can- The fuck is shooting me? That thing right there. Or square. There we go. Damn. Oh, damn! <laughs> I don't know if I yeah, can- You try some out. Whoa! Yeah, try that shit out, dude. Get in the war. The war comes to you, Wes, whether you're ready or not. I've seen people talk about this, but I don't think it's getting enough attention. Uh, Sebastian Stan? playing a young Luke Skywalker. Why didn't they do that? Why didn't they do that? Like for the Mando? I, I don't think it, I, I mean, yeah, cool. They deep faked Mark Hamill and get Mark Hamill to do the, actually, I don't know if that's true. I think he was just there as a consultant. I think he did the voice though. Sebastian Stan is a really good actor. And I think it is a natural thing to like, just move him into Star Wars. And then you could do like a Luke Skywalker from between you know, the events of episode six to seven. And they just don't. And it sucks that Star Wars sucks now. Hot take, Star Wars isn't good anymore. The Mandalorian season three was dog shit. I didn't even watch it, dude, which is strange for me because I actually liked Mandalorian. I did too. And, I, and then I watched uh, Mandalorian season one was the best. Mandalorian season two was like, okay, it's, you know, it's the Mandalorian. Book of Boba Fett, I'd rather shit in my hands and clap. <laughs> 
Uh, and then the Mando season three, I watched the first episode and was just like, okay. And then just didn't care. So I watched somebody do like a video essay on it. And I was like, wow, yeah, that's bad. I'm glad I skipped it. I'm pretty sure. And everybody else is pretty sure that, uh, Pedro Pascal wasn't there for most of it because he was filming the last of us at the same time. And so that's why he never takes his helmet off at all in season three he never wants to i guess you don't really need him to be there for that honestly you don't he just did voiceover for like pretty much all of it because he was again filming the last of us anyway wes is putting in work right now uh back to you in the studio <clears throat> i was gonna yes and you about star wars sucking like i feel like a lot of things that i was super obsessed with as a kid mm-hmm I've lost interest in, and I don't know if it's because the quality's gone down on it. Toxic fan bases is Star Wars, Dragon Ball Z. Wait, pause. I feel like Star Wars has a toxic fan base, but that toxic fan base is like a subset of the overall fan base. At least to me, I don't think the overall, I look like Donald yeah, Trump no, doing no. all this right now. I don't think the overall fan base is toxic, but there are people that are there's very, a, there's, there's a, a loud, huge yeah go ahead carvel yeah it's a it's a very loud like minority but even in that minority it's still like star wars fan base is ginormous so like that that subset of them is still pretty fucking big but they are very vocal about you know their takes and stuff and it kind of sucks anyway you were saying dragon ball z too that i 100 percent agree with like it's hard to have a, a just a normal baseline dragon ball z take without somebody being like but goku would never do that <sighs> Goku could flick Chi Chi's bean and then go Super Saiyan God. So I don't know if some of that's like uh, Dragon Ball Z. I love Dragon Ball Super came out and all the movies, and I feel like I'm slowly getting to the point where like I don't care. Yeah. Don't want to go out of my way to watch like the new Dragon Ball Z movie that came out of Dragon Ball Super that had Gohan at the forefront and goes uh, beast form. The heroes or yeah, whatever. It was. Yeah, heroes. I, I never watched it. Didn't watch it, but like. Old me would be like, yeah, I'd be dying to itching to watch that. Yeah, so yeah. I just feel like it's just, it's not appealing to me anymore. Even though I still consider myself a Dragon Ball Z fan, I just don't care about the, this this new new wave. Of, yeah, yeah. And it's the same thing with Star Wars. Like I consider myself a Star Wars fan, but I'm not I'm not this new wave Star Wars fan. I'm not I'm not dying. So on to all play that. play devil's advocate here. Or maybe not even just play devil's advocate, but maybe Damn. maybe even just to like point out something. Do you think it's just because like we're the? I'm using this term lightly, uh, maybe so I don't hurt myself or my ego. We're the older generation fans. Like we grew up on what we grew up on, and now those IPs that you know we have a nostalgic love for, and still a love for, you know, modernly to an extent. Uh, but those IPs are changing to gain a new fan base, a younger fan base, and it's just not what we grew up on. So do you think it's just that, that we just don't like it because it's now trying to gravitate to a new audience? I think that's part of it. I think the writing caters to a different audience. I think it's... But do you think the writing is, is catering to a new audience, but is also bad just in a objective sense? Uh, probably a little bit of both. I think they're trying too hard to cater to a new audience. Therefore, that's making it bad. Okay. Uh, I, think, I, I agree with that. Yeah. I agree with that. Like, I, I think, I think the... So, so, dude, somebody's going to get in the comments and <laughs> oh, yeah. say something, but... Yeah. yeah. You're more than welcome to. Um, just, I'll delete I, you and block you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's good... All right, fuck. I'll play as Darth Maul next time. Hey, Darth Maul here! <laughs> Let me in there, I'm itching. Kenobi! And Dragon Ball Z, I, I don't know. Maybe it is trying to cater to a new audience. The same thing with Naruto. That, there you go. Naruto is a good example because they have Baruto now. And uh, I feel like that was a swing and a miss. I mean, it's still going, and they've got like 200 episodes. Um, oh, is it? It's over 200. I thought episodes. it was done. Yeah. Okay, well, I'd fucking put my foot in my mouth again. I yeah, don't know. They're, uh, they're still going. I just don't know. They got some fan base from it, so it's it's not us, obviously. Yeah, but you know, they, they found yeah, somebody found some something in it. Yeah. 
But that's that's another thing where I'm like, there's there's an element of this show that doesn't feel like the show I used to know. I feel like it's cheap criticism to be like, oh well, it's for the new generation, whatever the fuck that means. Like, yeah, are you saying that the new generation of people can't appreciate the stuff I've watched before? So on the opposite end of that, I have found that the Lord of the Rings fan base is very positive. I, I feel like even through the Amazon Lord of the Rings, I feel like it was pretty unanimous. Most people are like, it was it was mid. Okay. Yeah, it was it was mid. mid. It didn't feel like how it used to feel, but yeah. it was still. It almost like didn't it was... feel like Lord of the Rings, dude. And like, yeah, some of the writing was goofy. It was just interesting to watch, but I wouldn't tell anybody, any Lord of the Rings fan, you have to watch yeah. this. What about Harry Potter? That's another fan base that I feel like is. Uh, I feel like they're just kind of middle of the road. They yeah, don't, they don't really get too loud. They don't get too crazy. For me, I feel like I like Harry Potter. I liked the first Fantastic Beast. It gave me a sense of like I didn't want it to end. I wanted the adventure to continue. And then the other Fantastic Beasts were abysmal. They announced that they're going to do Harry Potter on HBO, which sounds cool. But uh, and I'll, I would probably watch it just to see what they wind up doing because mm -hmm. it's HBO. It does feel like it's that's uh, it's unnecessary because uh, I, I think I would have my feelings hurt if they're like, all right, we're going to redo Lord of the Rings. We're going to tell the, the same story, flesh it out even bigger, and it's going to be like a new cast and everything. Yeah. I'd be like, oh, they're replacing some of the most memorable characters. Yeah. Actors. Uh, I don't I don't know how to end this conversation uh, without it being too abrupt other than saying it's okay to not like something. I just don't want to be toxic about it. Like I, yeah. I find it very strange for me, for someone like me to go online and spew like, this is so fucking stupid. Anyone that watches this is lacking brain cells. Yeah, and just say like all this hateful stuff. You're having conversations with people about this stuff because both of you are very uh, passionate about it. Both of you, and therefore I'm gonna shit all over you for having the take that you have. It's just, no, I interpret it different than you. I mean, I'm not any any more or less of a fan because I'm not, like, yeah. or same thing with Star Wars, Mandalorian. Like, it's just my, my position is, like, I love Star Wars, but there's things about Star Wars that I just don't level, it. like, still a fan. I guess I'm not, like, a diehard fan, whatever the fuck that term means. Yeah. Like, I, I can tell you, I feel like I can tell you off-the-wall uh, facts about Star Wars. And they're willing to just kill everybody there to get them. You know, and it, and it really shows like how it feels a lot more like it drags me in more. Um. Bye. See you later. <laughs> <laughs>